Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Don't mind me, I'm a little exhausted today. But here we are, here we are. Um, yeah, so let's get another collective message to see what y'all need to hear. As always, take what resonates, discard the rest, yada, yada, yada. All right, let's get started. Let's see what's going on. Um, can already feel the energy coming back, so we're going to see what ha what's happening. We have Capricorn, third house. So your perceptions. Ooh, and then we have confidence, bravery. What was that? Oh, we have Capricorn. So Saturn. Saturn, Leo in the third house. And then we have Capricorn underneath it with the moon in the first house. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, old Big Daddy Saturn might be giving you some sort of confidence or you're having confidence. Your perception is one of confidence at the moment. Why are y'all fighting? What's happening? <laughs> anyway, uh, your perception could be one of confidence at the moment. <sighs> but uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see what's what's happening here. What's happening? Ooh, <laughs> well, we have perception. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, siren energy, elephant, the plane. Okay, we're on liftoff here. Dragonfly illusion. We have the we have the anchor. So you're anchoring in some sort of confidence, okay? Siren energy, perception. We have an illusion here, though. Maybe you're taking the mask off. I don't know. Mask off. <laughs> Let's see what's happening with this little elephant. And we have the angel wings. So, all right. Let's get it. Let's get it. It's funny how the glasses came out. Okay, and then this mermaid, don't she look confident? She's like, hey, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Look at her face. She's just like, oh, shit. It did focus. Shit. Anyway, she's just like, is it going? Is it going? Yeah, she's like, hey. <laughs> hey. All right, so you might have a more confident perception at the moment. All right. Let's see. All right. Fuck. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. It's okay. You're, so Uranus, revolution. So there's a breakthrough happening. Okay. What, 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 oh, a breakthrough and transformation. Yeah, you know what? I did feel the energy shift. Not going to lie. It's shifting again. We're in the middle of eclipse season. So this makes sense that it's constantly shifting at the moment. Um, but there's a breakthrough in some sort of like personal power. Or transformation type thing. <sighs> Some sort of ending, giving to a new, like, beginning. But I feel like you have gained some sort of inner power or personal power here. We also have clearing, okay? Intensity. Yeah, the energy feels intense. This is like an intense uh, purification that's happening at the moment. But you're more confident in your perception. Like, you have more personal power at the moment. Or you feel more empowered, I want to say. So let's see. Oh, shit. Okay, well, what's so complex? Okay, so complex is Sagittarius energy, and then we have the plane. So here we go. <laughs> we have the little plane here. Okay, the little plane on here. All right, but there's some complex situation or something complex about the Saggy energy. Okay, maybe you're dealing with a complex Sagittarius. I mean, I mean. Maybe there's a sudden breakthrough with some sort of like, you don't have to be dealing with a Sag, but like just the energy. Um, why do you got to make everything so complex? Sagittarius is very like free, free spirited. Although if they're in a lower vibration, they could be a little self-righteous. Not going to lie. So. <clears throat> educates and transforms. And then we have, ed so educates and transforms. Then we have Sagittarius energy, which is ninth house, which is education, higher education. So maybe you're, you're getting acquainted with something. You're getting educated. Okay, let's see. One more. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> really? All right. 
Oh, the moon. Okay, feelings. All right, yeah. And there's the moon there. Okay, so Saturn energy's right below the moon. So there's uh, <laughs> karmic lessons. Maybe uh, this is like feelings of self worth with Taurus energy at the bottom. Feelings of self worth. You know, why did I get? Why did I just hear loneliness? Um. So there's lessons. So Big Daddy Saturn. There's lessons around. I also heard just give it, give it time. I don't know. There's lessons here around uh, feelings of worthiness, okay? We're being educated about something, about our perception. Like I said, you got, you're got you focused on your inner power here. Yes. Yes. You're reforming something. There's like feelings of like higher self-esteem, higher confidence levels, okay? Um, yeah. What, baby? Okay. Fuck, I look tired right now, but hey. <laughs> That's what happens when you work all day, all right? Anyways, this is my favorite part of the day, so I'm not going to skip it. Anyways, Layla, come here, baby. Don't wake up my brother. He worked all night, you dork. So we have Uranus. Let's see what's going on. Anyway, we're focused more so on our inner power. Uh, We've got feelings that of self-worth now coming through or strong feelings. There's a breakthrough happening. So what's this breakthrough? What's this Uranus? Clarity. You got clarity about something. Ooh, could have got a download about something or information. Okay. You got some sort of information. Ace of Swords and Uranus. Okay. This is like a awakening, some sort of insight, some sort of download maybe that you've got. Okay. Ace of Swords. It's like incoming clarity. You've gotten clarity in a situation because you've done some soul searching. Okay. You went within. You did some introspection. You're like, okay, what the is happening here? So this could have been over the course of a few days. Okay. Um, or like over eclipse season. Like we're still in the midst of it. But like you could have gone like deep within yourself and got some sort of clarity. Okay. Um. So let's see what the Sagittarius and complex energy is. Because something required translation. I mean, what's happening? Queen of Pentacles. Self-worth. Yeah, look. Three of, <laughs> three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. This is like teamwork, being a team player. Also, this is like self-worth, nurturing energy. It's also very um, fertile because, you know, we have the... She kind of reminds me of the Empress, but just, you know... She's the yeah fertile part of the empress, okay? She's the creative part of the empress. So you've learned some sort of self... Ooh, hold on. You've learned some sort of, like, self-worth things. Let's see. I'm not sure if I'm going to find anything, but we're going to see. Um... If I can spell it right. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if I... Never know, man. Never know. What is little finger energy? According to chakra or energy healing, the little finger is associated with heart meridian and the water element. Okay. My finger, my little finger, Layla, come here, just vibrated like... Like it was like zing, and I'm like, okay, I gotta check that out just in case I find something. And here we go, I found something. So, um, intelligence, intuition, and persuasion. Little uh, pinky finger is ruled by Mercury, okay? According to palmistry, it symbolizes intelligence, intuition, and persuasion, okay? And it's associated with the heart meridian and the water element. So, this is having, yeah. Feelings of self-worth. That's interesting. <laughs> so funny. Uh, so. Oh, it also says here. Okay, so it can be. So the heart meridian and the water element. So the chakra would be the sacral chakra. Okay. Water, heart chakra, you know, heart meridian. It's giving like self-love, um, empowerment confidence okay you've broken through some sort of illusion or maybe you know you're pulling out weeds there's a sense of like confidence here um through trials and tribulations perhaps like maybe you're just sick and tired of being sick and tired you know 
what's the lesson here? I guess we're figuring it out right now. Okay, so what's the lesson here around feelings and self-worth? Because we have Saturn and the moon, and then we have Taurus, which is all about well-being, self-worth, luxury, beauty. The two of wands, it's your decision-making. So your decision-making has gotten better when it comes to self-empowerment, self-worth, and your perception of yourself has changed. It's gotten better. Um, six of swords, two of wands. This is like choosing to move to calmer waters. Like, you know what? I'm sick of fighting with myself. I'm going to just do it. Maybe <laughs> five of wands. I'm sick of fighting with myself. I'm going to just do it. Five of wands. So you might be like, you might be a procrastinator. You might be put like have put off stuff that you've needed to do or things that you've needed to get done for yourself whatever it is you could have procrastinated and then it like got you in your feelings and then you'd be hard on yourself and you're like why am I procrastinating I should just do this because if I just do this I'm gonna feel better and once I feel you know you're it's like you're getting rid of um feelings of procrastination oh yes also I have seen this thing today you know that uh, you can be addicted to a or secretly addicted to a certain emotion so let's say if you're addicted to like anxiety because you grew up with a bunch of anxiety your thoughts like say you wake up and you want to choose peace and you're like I'm today I'm going to be peaceful I'm going to be happy but then your mental your mind is going to start thinking about things that are going to give you anxiety because you're subconsciously addicted to the feeling of anxiety this could be like sadness, shame, anxiety, I don't know, stress even, addicted to stress subconsciously, and then you're going to be living a life that you don't want to live. It's like you're trying to go the opposite direction. I don't want to live a life of stress and anxiety, but how come I just keep going around and... I felt you. I heard you. Hold on. But then you just, you know, I don't want to live this life of stress and anxiety, but why do I why do I keep doing it? It's because you're subconsciously addicted to that emotion. So you're going to look for things in your environment that are going to perpetuate said emotion. So we got to like, so now there's a breakthrough happening. Um, there's higher learning of self-worth and we're choosing to move away from things. We're choosing our own um, well-being. Hold on. I just want to see what was that little earring? And Siestas, oh, <laughs> you know, you know, the star would come out, <laughs> just a little buzz in my ear, okay, so this is optimism healing, and nine of wands, this is perseverance, okay, tenacity, perseverance, keep going, don't stop, never giving up on yourself, things like that, okay, um, so yeah, whatever I was saying, this is what they're saying, like, have hope and don't give up. Keep persevering. Look at this is like, you know, what was I talking about? I was talking about how we can be addicted to certain emotions, subconsciously addicted to certain emotions. And then we, we choose certain perception to perpetuate said emotions. But then we sit there and we're like, damn, why am I feeling this way? <laughs> why am I living this life? Man, I don't want to live this life. I'm just, I've been trying so hard to change it. But, you know, per, this is why it's like, this is why. It is so important to persevere through things. This is why when you make a mistake or when things don't quite go your way or when you, you know, you feel like giving up, you don't. You keep going and you keep trying because you keep learning. You keep learning about yourself. You keep learning um, different ways to do things. You keep getting downloads. You keep getting um, new insights, new intel to what it is that you're going through or what it is that you're trying to accomplish or what it is that you're trying to heal. So this is the importance and the value of never giving up to keep persevering um, against all odds and whatever it is, you know, because you got angelic help here. They're trying to get, they're helping you get through something here or um, they're helping you get onto the, you know, life, get into the timeline that you really want to live, Okay. Because, you know, people be sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, Lord. Okay, we have spiritual hugs coming out. Why do we have chemistry? Don't annoy me, please. <laughs> Maybe this is brain chemistry. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's see. One word answers. Signs. Okay, well, there's a one word answer. Signs. All right. Craving you. 
You have spiritual support. Oh, Lord. You're doing what they said that you could never do. See? I'm taking that. Doing what they they said that you would never... Oh, God. Jesus. Can we not? Someone's paying for readings about you. I don't even want to take that, but I'm going to put that on the side. I don't even think it... Mercurial mindset. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go again on the own. Reassurance, Kay. What's this? Incoming good news and emotional outbursts. Why do we have this, though? This is... Okay, so emotional outbursts, merc mercurial mindset, which means, like, one extreme to the other. Like, you want to do something, and then you don't, and then you have someone paying for readings. So that is on, like, the this side. And then we have craving you chemistry. Someone's So there's a couple messages in here. Okay. This is the overall your energy. This is what's going on around you. Your energy in the beginning. What's going on around you. Okay. Your energy is learning lessons with self-worth, perception, feelings, and never giving up and getting downloads and insights. Okay. Um, yeah. You're, you're learning a valuable lesson right now about self-worth and feelings and perception and how they're all interconnected. Meanwhile, this is going on in the background. So we're seeing, we're going to see what's going on in the background here. Um, so while you're doing this, <laughs> you're also dealing with this on the outside. So shall we? Shall we see what this is? So you got spiritual hugs here. We have spiritual hugs, reassurance. Okay, I'm going to re... I'm going <laughs> to reorganize these. Okay. These go together. This one's here. Okay. <clears throat> um, this one's... Shit. <laughs> this one can go here, here, here. Uh, okay. I think that's, yes. Okay. All right. That's how they want it. That's how we're doing it. <laughs> it is what it is. All right. So what's this? Uh, you got a bunch of spiritual support here. Where is it? Oh, right here. Okay. You have a lot of spiritual support. It takes up about half of the, the side of papers here. Okay. So you have, your spirit guides are giving you hugs and reassuring you of something. There could be some sort of incoming good news. Okay, this could be why this star and ooh, there's the high priestess too, and the page of cups. So you're definitely getting <laughs> intuitive downloads. My ear was ringing when I asked that. So you definitely have a lot of spiritual support. Why is my whole arm tingling now? What's what's happening? My, my I started with my pinky. So there's there's something to do with your meridians. Okay, energy energetic meridians. Some of you guys might actually be going for um, acupuncture. Or this is going to help you out with your energetic meridians or something like that. Acupuncture is going to help something out. Fibromyalgia. That's coming through. I don't know. Okay. So spiritual hugs. What's happening here? You need a hugging. Oh, ace of swords. Two of pentacles. Gay. Two of cups. Okay. This is your relationships, either with yourself or with other people. Um, something's being balanced out or you're juggling a lot of relationships. You're just juggling a lot of people at this time, but we do have the Ace of Swords and here's Uranus with a rev like a revolution, a breakthrough. So there's a breakthrough when it comes to your relationships. This is sounding like the relationship that you have with yourself because I take the Two of Cups as bitch, I'm my own soulmate. I count too. So the relationship with yourself and we've been talking about the relationship with yourself in your own energy at the moment. So... This is balancing out or something is balancing out or you've been juggling a lot, okay? But spirit's giving you insight, spiritual hugs, hugging you. We also have humanitarianism with, oh, Uranus is a star card too. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'll take the hug, thanks. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's funny. Because we have Uranus, star, card, energy, Aquarius, energy. We had the star come out when my ear rang. We have spiritual hugs with the Ace of Swords, which is landing on Uranus, which is the star. Okay. You're getting signs, maybe signs. One word, you know, answers. Reassurance here. Okay, so what's the reassurance then? You have emotional support. or <laughs> Oh, I was going to say you have spiritual support. You have emotional support right now. Reassurance. Okay, so what's the reassurance here? 
reassure. Oh, judgment and the fool. Ooh. They kind of fell weird. They kind of fell. They kind of fell. So, you know, maybe this is coming because we do have incoming good news. So reassurance. There's divine judgment is happening on some sort of risk or some sort of new beginning. There's a new beginning here. It's just not quite. It's not quite there. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's almost there. Maybe you're like, oh, you know what? I'm fucking so sick. And, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know what I'm saying? But it's like there's some sort of like new beginning coming. I'm just going to keep them like kind of sideways because they fell kind of sideways. Aries energy and Scorpio energy. Um, divine interventions happening too. They want you to know that they're reassuring you that they're in your life at the moment, rearranging pieces, making things better. You will have success. Okay. You will have success. You will have happiness. Things are going to be balanced out. Okay. Spirit is giving you hugs. Things are changing. Okay. The energy is shifting. Maybe you went through like one hell of a, an eclipse season because then we have the lunar first. Now it's the solar. I don't know, man. I'm backwards right now. And then we went through a Mercury retrograde. Oh, Jesus. I'll tell you, I was feeling the energy, man. I was feeling my shadow self coming out, and she wanted to party. And I was like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Just take a seat. I'll let you come out a little bit. So I let her come out a little bit, but not all the extremes. You know what I mean? You want to come out to play, but just for a little bit. But I'm going to put a leash on your ass. <laughs> that's exactly what I did. And it was good. I guess that's how you learn, right? <laughs> so this eclipse season could be bringing out, you know, sides of you that want to come out back out to play. But you're learning to like, I don't know, rope it in or something like this. You're learning how to, you know, your your values going up. I, that, that came out in a, another reading too. What's you have spiritual support? Oh, see, Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Page of Cups came after this star and the nine of wands and then we have the page of cups here with the high priestess so you have spiritual support you're getting intuitive downloads okay they're there talking to you all the time they're speaking to you all right i mean if you're like me then you talk to your ancestors all motherfucking day sometimes you even drive by and someone will see you talking to yourself and they'll laugh at you and you'll just be like <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, never mind never mind <laughs> so you do have a lot of spiritual support okay um they're definitely like spirits definitely talking to you. They're giving you hugs. They're giving you a lot of love right now. Um, that pinky energy. Okay. So the heart meridian and water energy. So they're giving you a lot of love and there's been a lot of signs. This is like mastering some sort of confidence. Okay. Mastering some sort of strength. This is inner power. It is giving inner power. What is this? Where did I find that? Over here. Where do I see that? Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I don't know where I saw it, but inner power. Oh, was it over here? Anyway, you guys are, um, you're focused on your inner power. Where the heck did I see that? Damn, I don't even know. <laughs> Anyways, your personal power. There we go. You're, you're focused on your personal power. What's this incoming good news? Because you guys got incoming good news, so I don't, you know. Oh, yawn, silky dope. I know I'm I'm sleepy too. Oh, the moon. Oh, incoming good news. The moon and the five of cups. Really? Like, how's that income? Oh. I mean, how's that income? <laughs> the moon and the someone secretly regretting something. Okay, well now see this is going on in your energy here. Incoming good news. The moon and the five of cups. Well, we're going to see, I guess. We're going to see quick what, what you mean in coming good news. Oh, we got new habits here. So maybe you're developing new habits. You're anchoring in. Ooh, because we do have the anchor here. So you could be anchoring in some sort of new habits. This is why the procrastination thing is coming to an end. The energy is going to be so easy for you to actually get things done. You're going to actually be able to get things done with ease. It's not going to be a struggle. It's not going to be like mercurial mindset where you're battling with yourself it's not it's just going to be a one and done thing <clears throat> you're going to do it you're going to get it done you're not and you're going to it's it's going to be nice and easy smooth sailing but what is this like incoming good news i don't you know look dark night of the soul see it's not hard so this is going to get easier this moon 
this moon is your like shadow energy or subconscious energy of like feelings of sadness, regret. See, those are those emotions that you might be addicted to. Those are those emotions of anxiety, depression, stress, shame, guilt, whatever it is that you want. Like the incoming good news is you're going to be getting over this. You're going through a dark night of the soul right now, or it's you've been through like going through a dark night of the soul. All right. It's going to be easy for you. Did I not just say it's going to be easy for you? We have, it's not hard. You just keep telling yourself it's hard, which makes it hard. The incoming good news is that shit is going to be so easy for you. Okay. You're getting a boost is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> That's why this reassurance judgment with the fool, you're almost there for your new beginning. Like you're almost there. The cycle is almost over judgment. So it's like kind of, you might, you just might feel like you're always battling with something or you're always battling against yourself or against your own emotions and stuff. But the good news is, it's going to get easier. It's, you know, this, this subconscious energy of feeling like being addicted to a certain emotion or, you know, awareness is key. Maybe you're gaining awareness that that was even possible or that was even a thing through this reading and now you're aware of it. So it's going to be easier for you. Maybe it's just clicked one thing, one last piece of the puzzle. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, um, <clears throat> <clears throat> what are these signs one word answers one word answer signs so what's the sign well we have a new beginning here with the ace of wands all right and then we have the hierophant so this is like ooh, and then we have success didn't the success come out with reassurance reassuring you that you are in control okay this is also traditions maybe you're doing something different this is also belief systems contracts organizations you know guru this is a leader this is like some this is someone people would go to for um assistance okay this is like someone like a priest or like a boss a ceo like this would be someone that you would go to for knowledge for information okay and then we have success okay so reassurance so the six of wands was at the bottom of that reassurance card now we have it again at the bottom of this so the signs are telling you that, hey, you can do this. You're, you're, <sighs> you're more like um, equipped and qualified than you, you've been, ever have been. Also, you're getting downloads here because I'm seeing these keys, okay? And then I'm seeing this key, which falls under Uranus, which is the star, which came out with spiritual hugs and the ace of swords. So you have the key, you're getting information, signs, spiritual hugs so you're getting signs and oh, there's the high priestess so you are getting signs and synchronicities and things like this trying to reassure you that everything's okay and you just need to keep persevering here's the nine of pentacles okay keep persevering and keep going so your spirit guides are sending you a lot of signs a lot of synchronicities they're put they're keep on on egging you on so that you don't like maybe you even feel like you want to give up on something or just something yeah tower <laughs> See, maybe you just like damn I can... oh. <laughs> you know <laughs> you're just like all right let's just keep it going i guess we're gonna keep it going oh so what is this craving you because now we're getting into something else here so this could be in your energy field. This could be like plucking at your energy or something. I don't, you know, I, we're going to see. So, cause we got craving you chemistry. You're doing what they said you could never do. Emotional outbursts, mercurial mindset, and someone's paying for readings about you. So how do I want to tackle this? Cause this is kind of different. This is like what you're going through here. Your spirit guides, you know, they're telling you. And then over here, it's kind of like a mess. This feels like someone else's energy, to be honest. I almost want to use a different deck just in case. Okay, we're going to do that. Because I said it, so we're going to do it. All right, let's see what's going on. What's this craving you? Oh, you got me craving. Oh, oh. All right, what's this craving you? Shite. What's this? Oh, gosh. Ace of Swords. Spiritual hugs. Bro, this emperor. Okay, Ace of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords three times. Oh, you know, you know, though, you know, this Ace of Swords did come out with this 
Okay, so this Ace of Swords here with the spiritual hugs. Okay, it did come out with the Two of Pentacles and then the Two of Cups in the back of that. You know what I'm saying? And then we have a Craving You and then we have the Ace of Swords. And then we have spiritual hugs and then balancing something out. Or juggling something. Are you craving something or is someone craving you? And spirit just be giving you hugs. What's happening here? Spirit's giving you hugs and information. All right. I, you know, maybe someone's pulling on, <laughs> pulling on your energy. I, you know, we have the emperor at the bottom. What's he looking at? Six of pentacles. And here's the five of cups. Yeah, this. Incoming good news. Dark night of the soul. Does someone do a dark night of the soul? Or is this you? And then we have the nine of wands. Incoming good news. And then we have the nine of wands. Well, we have the star and then the nine of wands. All right, we're just going to keep going because, you know, I, I'm feeling like... Oh, uh, there's the fool. Reassurance. This is a new beginning happening. But it kind of went on its side. So, I mean, you know, craving you ace of swords. Spiritual hugs. Someone giving you a spiritual hug? Let me... You know, my guides, craving you. Look, get present. You're doing amazing. Come back, queen. And come back, king. So you're making a comeback here. You're doing amazing and get present. So you could be craving someone, you know. But you're doing amazing. Get present here. Come back. Come back, king. Come back, queen. Craving you. Hmm. You're doing amazing. Oh, maybe you're craving something. I don't know. Is it food? Oh, you know, it could be these emotions. It could be these emotions. You're getting clarity on these emotions. Because remember what I said, you could be subconsciously addicted. Cravings, right? To certain emotions. Certain chaos. And you're getting insights about this. Ah, right, right, right. You're getting insights. Hugs. You're getting support. Okay. You're getting information about what you're going through. You're getting signs, synchronicities. They're talking to you. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Um, but what is this chemistry? Is this, is this brain chemistry? What's going on? Are we altering brain chemistry? Well, the ace of wands. One word answers signs. Chemistry. Well, you're getting signs about some sort of chemistry. Knight of swords. You're getting signs. Oh, there's two, two, oh, hugs. Two pentacles. Okay. Uh, chemistry. Ace of Wands. Wait, wait. Mm. What's this? Jesus. Okay, what's the chemistry? Oh, Jesus. I swear, we have clairvoyance. Okay, clairvoyance. See, and then we have signs. Look, things are speeding up. Chemistry. Okay, someone chemist? Something's speeding up, though, clairvoyance. You can... In your mind's eye, things are speeding up. Something's speeding up. What's speeding up? Signs. The signs are speeding up. What's speeding up? You get, you're getting clairvoyant signs. See, you're not running out of time here. Resolve all situations from within. See, and you're not running out of time. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, this is like hasty, quick movement. This is the fastest moving knight in the deck. Okay, it's fast. That's really, 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 it's fast. Okay. So you could think that you're running out of time trying to speed things up, you know, or things are speeding up. You're not running out of time. Things are speeding up. This weird chemistry thing that you're getting signs with. Chemistry, brain chemistry it is given penal gland, you know, maybe you're like, there's, that's a lot. This is a lot of messages. <laughs> okay. Hold on here. Your familiar protects you in dream messages. Interesting. I did post that today. That kitty cat with the girl. Transmuting darkness into light. What's another thing for alchemy or transmutation? Could you call that chemistry? Could you call that mixing ions and whatever the heck it is, you know, together? You could. So things are speeding up here. All right, all right. So you're getting signs that things are speeding up. The, I don't know. There's good chemistry with something. And when you have good chemistry with someone, so there, you got good chemistry with spirit right now. 
Mm-hmm. And things are speeding up for you, clairvoyance. Like you're get, you got a good rapport. There's good chemistry with you and your spirit guides here. Okay, yeah. You're on a good frequency because you're focused on here on your self worth or you're learning lessons about you know, like your feelings and moving away from certain emotions and stuff like that. So, doing what you said you they could never do. Okay, what's this? Well, here's the two of cups. <clears throat> Doing what they said you could never do. What, what happened? I thought I saw one. Well, I seen the sun. What's that? The sun and what? Knight of Pentacles. Took. Maybe it took you a long time to find your happiness or something. Doing what they said you could never do. What's this? Okay, Five of Pentacles. And then we had the sun and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so Five of Pentacles. Getting out of this lack mindset getting out of this poverty type energy whether this poverty be um sadness a lack mindset or whatever <laughs> you're so cute what are you doing are you playing you guys need sophia oh, oh so cute oh, <laughs> you're doing what they said that you could never do which is getting out of some sort of poverty Either, or this is ill health could be mental emotional doesn't matter or money you could be getting out of poverty money wise um, but you're doing all the things that they said that you would never be able to do. Okay. Overcoming challenges, overcoming hardships. They said you would never be able to do it. And here you are doing it. Okay. And spirits encouraging you to keep going, to keep doing it. Cause you're doing a fantastic job. You're doing amazing, sweetie. And things are speeding up. They're going to get easier for you too. Okay. So what do we got with this emotional outburst? So there's those emotions. What's these emotional outbursts? Okay, Knight of Cups. Yeah, moving with emotions. And then we have Three of Pentacles. So Three of Pentacles came out with this Queen of Pentacles here. And see, we have comp complexity. Irritates. Emotional outbursts. So you're learning about your emotional outbursts here. Okay, getting angry at something. Two of Wands. Okay, maybe someone irritates you and then you're immediately like, you go to something to like, Okay, maybe that's the emotion you're addicted to. It's like your brain will find any irritation just to feel that chaotic emotion. So you're recognizing the chaotic emotion and you're defusing it. Chemistry, brain chemistry, alternating it. I keep going back to that signs and stuff. Okay, neuro pathways. You're rewriting your neuro pathways, different habits. We did have new habits that wanted to come out earlier. So you're rewriting your brain chemistry here. Oh, that's deep. That's real deep. Okay, <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles is the physical form, so you could be learning a lot about your body, listening to more so to your body, okay? Um, yeah, inner power, personal power, you know what I'm saying, all right? So what's this mercurial mindset, okay? So Because you're working, this is moving with emotion, the Knight of Cups, okay? What's that? Emotional outburst, okay? So you're, you're just, you're... <clears throat> You're working to gain some sort of control over it, all right, and take, I don't know, better action when it comes to that. What's this mercurial mindset, though? Is that, there's the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles wanted to come, here's the Queen of Wands. So there's the confidence, there's the inner power, personal power. So you're using your personal power to get over this mercurial mindset. Hi, baby. I didn't even see you come here. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, is he so sweet? They can't see your face. Here, come here. Oh, the geeky. I only have one more card to do. She's so sweet. Oh, nobody wants to see her butthole. Come here. Oh. oh. Anyways, so that Knight of Pentacles, maybe it took you a long time. So there's that procrastination, right? It took you a long time to make up your mind to actually do something, doing what they said that you would never do, okay? That came out with this, gear. <sighs> that came out. So doing what they said you would never be able to do is to get out of that mercurial or to get out of that mindset, that lack mindset. Maybe you had a mercurial mindset where you wanted to do it, but you didn't know how and you didn't want to do it at the same time. But now you're getting out of that mercurial mindset, <laughs> And you're actually getting it done, okay? And you're getting a lot of spiritual support and a lot of spiritual guidance at the moment. You're, you're finding your personal power and you're like 
Yeah, see? The Knight of Swords. Things are speeding up now. You're learning quicker. You're learning faster, okay? You're, you're dropping this inner conflict, whatever this is. And you're getting a lot of, like, energetic support. So it's just going to feel easier. Like, wow, how come I can all of a sudden do this? Because you're getting a lot of energetic support, especially with this eclipse season. Like, your ancestors and your spirit guides are really stepping it in for you. Same with your the universe and God and whatever you want to call it, you know. Whatever it is that you believe in. The firmament. Flat earthers. Round earthers. We all love you here. <laughs> okay. Whatever it is that you believe in, all right? Oh, my God. The struggle's real. So, our last card is someone's paying for readings. Is this you all paying me for readings? I mean, hey. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to see what's going on. What's, what is this? I don't know. Maybe you're, you're getting more clients. If you, if I do have tarot readers on here, you know, um, spiritual workers, you know, stuff. I do have like all sorts of. Bye, Gigi. We going. Anyway. So someone's paying for readings. Let's see. Maybe you get more clientele. Maybe this is just about business. Okay. You're going to be getting more. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. We have the two cups here in the Ten of Pentacles. This is a long-lasting relationship. Is someone inquiring about you? Someone inquiring about you? Paying for readings inquiring about you? Or is this like... <laughs> so what? Or you just throw me through a loop. Nine of Cups and the Sun. That is like an ultimate wish fulfillment. Let me see. What do you mean by this? Oh, God. Look at starting. What is this? Starting to fall in love? Bro, what? What's this? Underestimating your gifts. Starting to fall in love. Lurking. Angelic. So you got angelic forces that are lurking, okay? Um, someone's a little insecure. Allow for new perspectives. Passed over loved one. Could be a mother or grandmother is with you at the moment. They're saying allow for a new perspective. You got a lot of in angelic support. They're lurking around you right now. These Quit underestimating your gifts, okay? Someone's starting to fall in love. Who is starting to fall in love? What are you talking about? I mean, you know, that's what would happen. You're a triple threat. Yeah, trickster here. Hold on here. Trickster. Amazonian. Triple threat. Okay, don't be... So if you... This is why, you know, I don't, you know... <laughs> Hold on here. Give me more info on that one. Are you paying people for readings about love? I mean, it happens for me sometimes, but mostly... Mostly my clients, they just come and they want me to channel for them. And if love comes up, it's usually something that they're healing within themselves that they need or they're healing or they're getting, you know, to the point where they're aligned with a partner. It's never usually like about somebody. And if it is about somebody, I always <laughs> sneak it back. <laughs> I always do the little sneakeroo back to you. <laughs> so I'll dabble in their energy a little bit, but then I'll just sneakily roundabout it come back to you <laughs> oh it's because i love you guys all right i love you guys i want you to attract the best for you all right i you know even if i gotta you know <laughs> anyways okay so what's this paying for readings about you we have revival oh what's this peaceful warrior and community and higher consciousness okay so it could be a community, could be someone actually trying to revive something, okay? Ugh. Or maybe you're pay paying for readings to to learn how to like get this long-lasting love, okay? This okay, so this reading could be what it would take to yeah, justice, to get your justice or to make things balanced, okay? It has to do with the emotions, has to do, yeah, justice and the empress. Has to do with self-worth, emotions, and, like, tact. It's like how you decide to move forward, not procrastinating and things like that. So I think that this reading is a little bit of a key point 
information for those who are looking to attract a genuine long lasting partnership. That's just a little key bit of information, whatever you have to do if you have to watch it again. Um, but for those of you who just like want to just chill and reach longevity, this could even be the relationship with yourself or relationship with family, whatever it is. This could be the relationship with yourself, health, longevity, like living a really healthy, long life and stuff like, okay. So I, there's just, t I don't think that someone's actually paying for readings about you. Like, I, yeah, tower. I don't think four of cup. Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands, so maybe Queen of Wands could be a little bit of a witchy witch, but then we have the Four of Cups here, so, hmm. you know, and we also have community, so what's this fucking, what is this shit? Oh, okay, so they dislike and push your boundaries, frequency, chase the plan, chills and shivers, so for some of you, you do have someone who is like an ex-partner or a love interest. They are paying for readings. They're going to, a, you know, a queen of wands. So this could even be a witch. All right. That's just a little caveat. I don't know why we need to know that. Community, higher consciousness. You know, you're a peaceful warrior. You're up in a higher consciousness, like, level. Maybe someone is paying for readings to, like, get on your level of consciousness. Could be it, too. This could also be what they're going through right now. You know, I... I like to mainly focus on the collective and like healing the collective. So take it either way. This could even be a mirrored energy. All right. Why do we need to know that? Nine of swords and justice. What's the nine of swords? King of wands. So <laughs> someone's a little, they're worried. They're in anxiety. I don't know. Someone's going through karma or something here. They feel a little left out here. Yeah, we have King of Wands, Queen of Wands, and then we have Justice and the Nine of Swords. So the King and the Queen of Wands is a pair. Nine of Swords, Four of Cups is feeling left out or brokenhearted about something. Someone's brokenhearted about something because they tricked you or they tried to lie. That's a little bit of a, that's just a FYI. Okay, it's just a FYI. All right. But mainly the main message here is something's going to get a whole lot easier, okay? You're going to be transmuting emotions. The procrastination is going to be done. You're going to be like, I don't know. You're getting a lot of, you have a lot of spiritual support helping you out with your perceptions and your emotions right now and getting things done, okay? So that was your message, you guys. If that resonated with you guys, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the Vibe Tribe and I'll see you down below in the comment section. Bye. I'm going to have a nap. <laughs>